lot of us, when we see people violating the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we just pretend as if we do not see this. But when it comes to personal issues, we get angry. And this is often common among the du'at. A lot of du'at, they are not angry when they see people doing things that are against the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when it comes to personal issue, you see them getting angry to the extent that some people are ready to turn personal issues that they have with people into matters of the deen. Because I have a personal issue with you, I try to warn people away from you that go away from so and so person, his manhood is not okay, this is this, this is this, this is that. Why? Because I have personal issue with him. I try to present the person as if that person is not upon the sunnah. The person is not upon the right man hajj because of the personal issue that I have with him. So this shouldn't be the case. Then we also see in the hadith that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa is a human being like us. He gets angry the way we get angry. There is nobody that is free from anger. At times people anger us, they make us get angry, and we react. We react. But the difference between us and the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa is that he will get angry when it comes to the issue of the teen. When it comes to the issue of the teen. Most of his angers are angers that are connected to the issue of the teen. And that was why Aisha radiallahu anha said, if the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa see people violate the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you could see, huh? you will see the anger on the face of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When you see people violating the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will get angry. But when it has to do with personal issue, messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is always calm. Is always calm. Yes, as a human being, he gets angry at times, even on personal issue. But most of his anger or cases of anger have to do with violating the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa when he gets angry on a personal issue or over personal issue, he controls his anger. That's another thing. As we get angry over personal issue and our anger is uncontrollable, and that was why the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told that man who came that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should advise him. He said, La taqdob. Huh? The man asked again, he said, La taqdob. So the messenger of Allah was telling him, La taqdob. What's the meaning of La taqdob here? It does not mean don't get, don't get angry. Don't get angry. As a lot of us who want to you, translate it. The meaning of la dub is don't be angry in such a way that you will not be able to control your anger. Don't be angry in such a way that you will not be, con you will not be able to control your anger. So whenever we are angry, we should call ourselves back. We should try to control our anger. So this is the meaning of la dub. Because as human beings, we get angry. We get angry. So when we get angry, we should strive to control our anger. In addition, we should also try that our anger is most of the time connected to the team. It's most of the time connected to the team. A lot of us, when we see people violating the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we just pretend as if we do not see this. But when it comes to personal issues, we get angry. And this is often common among the du'at. A lot of du'at, they are not angry when they see people doing things that are against 
the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when it comes to personal issue, you see them getting angry to the extent that some people are ready to turn personal issues that they have with people into matters of the deen. Because I have a personal issue with you, I try to warn people away from you that go away from so and so person is manhaj is not okay this is this this is this this is that why because i have personal issue with him i try to present the person as if that person is not upon the sunnah the person is not upon the right manhaj because of the personal issue that i have with him so this shouldn't be the case this shouldn't be the case when issues have to do with pasana uh, or when issues are pasana we we'll try as much as possible to control this but when it has to do with the deen we we'll try to defend the deen this is the way of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam